going to start with the rabbits. Um, so I guess I'll just start on this side and then take you guys all the way around. Let's get started. Alright, so this is Miss Buttercup. She is a broken orange doe, about seven, six or seven months old now. And she is currently pregnant, hopefully. She is the daughter of Clementine, who I'll show you in a little bit. Um, and her sister, Mimi, is right down here. So, like I said, daughter of Clementine. And she is missing her name tag because she chewed it off. And she's a sweet, kind of grumpy sometimes. <laughs> Um, but she's a sweet girl. She's a big girl, so she'll just be used for breeding. She can't be shown. Um, the same with Miss Buttercup over here. But yeah, she's also hopefully pregnant. Um, and her and Buttercup are due on September 28th. Their dad is Holly's Finn, who I'll also show you in a little bit. Down here, bottom of Mimi and Buttercup. We have my newest little um, introduction. He's the newest rabbit that I've purchased. And this is Otis. And he's a broken chestnut hull and lop. Otis just turned seven months old now, Ak. But he was shown at my fair close to me and he got first place out of seven. Um, so he has a leg, his first senior leg. And then he also got um, a leg early on as a junior just a couple months ago so he has a great show career so far and I'm excited to continue showing him for the next several months and he also is bred he was bred to Mimi and um, to another doe that I'll show you soon um, so we should have some Otis babies on the way as well and he is from Lucky Lops Rabbitry and they just recently got out of rabbits so that's how I was able to get him for such a great price then right over here we have Mr. Nemo, and he doesn't actually have a name tag because he is for sale currently. Um, and he is also about eight months old, so a very young senior buck, and he will also stay small. Um, and if you are interested, I'll leave the link to my website down below in the description box so you can learn more information about him. He's a super sweet little dude. Um, and he is the full brother to Franklin over here, who I'll also show you in a minute. He is an orange senior buck. I don't think I mentioned that yet. Just for sale as a pet only. And then right above him, we have Holly's Dwight, who is the son of Butterfly that I'll show you in a minute, and also the son of Holly's Finn. He's a super sweet little orange junior buck. He's only about uh, 14 weeks old, um, so still pretty young, but at my state fair he did get first place, um, but just out of two, so not a huge win, but um, the judge really liked him, so yeah, we'll see. He might have a great show career ahead of us. And then I'll just start at the bottom of this tier and then go all the way up. So this is Holly's Franklin, um, we usually call him Frankie. And he is a cream senior buck, also about 10 months old now, um, or 8 to 10 months old, I don't know for sure. Um, but he's a super, super sweet buck, very friendly, um, and he will also stay small, which I'm excited about. And he's just a super, super cute, friendly little guy. We love him. Um, he also went to the fair near me, and he was going to get first place out of 10, in the senior buck class for his first senior show, but unfortunately um, he was disqualified because I had entered him in as the wrong ear number. So his actual ear number in his ear is HHFR and I had written down HHF and they can be disqualified for something as little as that. So he was unfortunately disqualified, but he would have gotten first place out of 10, which is super exciting, um, in the open class. So he's doing uh, very well as a show buck so far, and he also has been bred to, I believe, um, one or two does. He was bred to um, M&S Sarah up here. 
She is a senior broken orange doe. I believe she's about two years old now. She is hopefully pregnant and due September 27th. I'm excited to see how she will do with that one. Their last litter, she did not get pregnant, so we'll see what happens this time. Franklin was also bred to Holly's Buttercup that I showed you very first. And then up here we have Holly's Butterfly. And she's the mom of Holly's Dwight that I showed you and also Holly's baby that you'll see in a little bit. She is a broken tort doe and she's, and she's just a gorgeous, amazing, fun girl. One of my favorites. We just love her. She's super sweet, has great babies every time. But she's, she's one of my favorites because she just has an awesome personality and always passes it on to her offspring. She's also the mom of Holly's Clementine and the grandma of Holly's Mimi and Holly's Buttercup. Her mom is Holly's Rosie and her dad is a Campos Buck that I haven't had for a couple years now. And then over here we have Miss Fern. Fern is a chinchilla Holland Lop Doe. She is about almost a year old and she has five babies currently. Um, she did have seven, but only five survived. So she has two chinchilla does, two squirrel bucks, and a little, um, actually this one looks black, but it's actually a self chinchilla doe. Um, so genetically she's a chinchilla but she has a gene that makes her fur look black and strips it of the gray ticking. If you want to see their names and how we came up with them, then you can just click the link down below. I'll leave, um, or up in the card somewhere um, on the screen, I'll leave a link to the video that I talk about their name reveal. Fern's mom is also Butterfly right over here, and um, the babies. And her dad is um, Holly's uh, Prince Charming, who I'll show you in a minute. He's a chinchilla buck. And then her babies right over here, their dad is um, also Prince Charming. So this was a line breeding that I did, and I got good results, so I'm excited to see how they mature. Right now they are four weeks old. And right below them I have Lucky Charm Lops um, Angus. And we call her Angie around here. And she has another little baby back there. She has just one, also four weeks old. Um, and her name is Olive back there. She's a little frosty doe. Um, a super, super sweet thing. And her dad is Holly Tucker. I'll also show you in a little bit. They're super sweet, super fun. Um, I've had Angie for a couple years now. She's almost four, I want to say, or almost three. Um, almost three or four. <laughs> but she's a super sweet doe. And then at the very bottom of this tier, we have Holly's Madeline. Um, we usually just call her Maddie, but she's a black doe. And she's also the daughter of Butterfly, a buck that I no longer have. But she's a super, super sweet girl. She's also hopefully pregnant um, to Otis. We'll see how those babies turn out. She is about a year old, and her first litter did not go so well. She had two, but they were both born dead. Um, and so we'll see how this one goes. And then down here is Holly's Dwight's sister. Um, her name is Holly's Baby, and she is a chestnut junior doe, about 14 weeks old, and she is the daughter of Butterfly and Finn. And she's a super, super cute, super nice doe. I also showed her at the fair, and she got fourth out of seven, I believe. Um, but good comments from the judges. She is going to be a bigger doe when she matures, so I think she's going to just be a breeding doe um, when she gets older, but for now, I'm showing her while she's still with the weight limit. And then up here we have Holly's Winnie, and she is actually um, my brother's only rabbit. Um, she's a broken chestnut doe. She is the daughter of Holly's Sarah over there, and Holly's Finn. And uh, my brother is starting to get into breeding and showing, so he's going to be breeding her soon and keeping some of her babies for show, so he's really excited about that. She is the same age as Mimi and Buttercup, so about six, seven months old. 
And then right up here we have Holly's Heidi, who is the littermate sister to Holly's Finn and Holly's Prince Charming that you've heard me talk about, and that I'll show you in just a minute. She's also the daughter of Holly's Zuzu that I'll show you towards the end. Um, she's in one of the last cages. And she is also for sale, so she doesn't have a name tag right there. Um, and if you want to find out more information, just click the link below. She has great babies, um, and she's just a super sweet mom. Big girl, but she's friendly and has a sweet personality. Moving on to the tier of boys. Alright, so first up over here we have Holly's Tucker. This big guy. He's about a year old, I want to say. Um, he is the son of Lucky Charm Lops Angus and Holly's Finn. He's an opal buck. He is a super, super sweet. He's like my big teddy bear of the rabbitry. He's a big boy, so I don't show him anymore, but um, he showed well in his junior um, stage. But yeah, he's had um, a few litters with us so far. Angie's um, current baby is his daughter. Um, so yeah, we're just keeping him for breeding and so far he produces great offspring and I'm excited to see what he has for us in the future. And he's just a super sweet buck, so I don't think we'll ever be able to part with him. Alright, and then down here is Holly's Prince Charming. He's the full brother to um, Holly's Finn down below and Holly's Heidi who is for sale. He is a chinchilla buck, um, about two years old. A little over two years and he is a super super sweet dude um, as his name suggests <laughs> the Prince Charmin he's just one of our favorites um, Fern's letter is out of him and he's just the sweetest sweetest little dude makes great babies too and he doesn't show too badly he has two legs and then down here at the very bottom we have Holly's Finn who has had pretty much all the babies in the rabbitry. They pretty much all go back to him. He's a chestnut buck. He's mostly just for breeding. He's been shown a few times and he's trying to hop out because I usually let him out to play um, once every couple days. So he thinks it's time to play right now, but not right now, dude. Um, also, he's, he's about two years old like his brother and sister. Um, and just look at that face, guys. He's, he's the most handsome thing. I don't know how I'll ever be able to part with him. Um, and I might never part with him. <laughs> but we just love Finn. Um, super handsome dude. Has a great personality. He comes to his name. Um, he just follows me around the rabbitry. Or even if I let him out in the yard, he'll just follow me around. He doesn't ever try to run away or escape. He's just the sweetest dude. He loves attention. And right now he's also looking at Miss Rosie over here, who's always flirting with him. So yeah, let's go see the rest of the does. Alright, and then at the top of this last tier, we have Holly's Clementine. And all the does that have babies have this little sticky note right here on their name tag that says when the babies were born, so that I'm able to just quickly see how old they are. She has four little babies. Um, the daddy to these babies is Tucker over there, sitting in his box. So stinking cute. So the daddy to these guys is Tucker. And we have a little black, a little broken chestnut, a broken opal, and a chestnut. I'm not positive on genders or names yet, but I think all of them are bucks except for the little broken opal. I think she's our only doe in this litter. Um, so we'll wait and see how they grow up in, in just a week or so. They're only two weeks old right now, so in about a week or so I should be able to know their genders for sure and then we can name them. But Clementine is a super sweet broken orange doe. She's just an absolute just love bug. We love her. She always wants attention. She gets very jealous if you give her babies attention and not her. Um, she's one of my bro little brother's favorites. Um, just because she just loves attention so much. Her babies over here, Buttercup and Mimi, are almost the same way. 
Um, just love, love attention. And her mom is Holly's butterfly. And her dad... Hello, cuteness. Um, and her dad is a buck that I do not have anymore. But she's just the sweetest thing. Um, and her mom, butterfly, is the same way when it comes to wanting attention and giving love and stuff. They're eating their hay. Super cute little chestnut buck. Oh, little broken chestnut. And Clementine is about a year old, um, or a little more. We just love her. Down, down here we have Miss Zuzu. As you can see, she is missing one ear. Her mom, who is not with us anymore, um, for sure, she... Hey, cutie buns. Her mom would always eat her dead babies, and Zuzu was very, very near death when I found her, right after being born. She was super, super cold outside the nest box, and she was just um, not doing well at all, and so I think her mom thought she was dead and had started like cleaning her up um, and, eat and eating her. So I raised her back to health, and she was actually fostered over to Rosie's litter because Rosie had just had a litter and she was raised with Butterfly. So the both of them are about like a week apart in age, so her and Butterfly are about uh, two years old. And she's licking my fingers right now. She's a very social, she's really sweet. Um, she has been very sensitive in the past around her ear, so usually she doesn't want to be pet, but she likes to give affection. Um, and she's been getting a lot sweeter as she's been getting older. Zuzu actually is bred. Um, I forgot to mention that. She was bred to Finn, who is her son. And then, last but not least, we have little Miss Rosie, who just wants to play. But she's the mama butterfly, and she's just passed her great personality down to pretty much all the does in the rabbitry. Butterfly has her same um, super sweet, super uh, energetic and playful and um, friendly personality. And then Butterfly passed it on to Clementine, and Clementine has passed it on to her daughters as well. So I just love that personality because most Holland Lop does are just very antisocial and kind of mean, and she's like the opposite. She does want to be bred right now, um, and Rosie's going to be bred very soon. So she's kind of, kind of, um, not mean, never mean, but just kind of rude sometimes. <laughs> like, she's just totally avoiding us. But she's a sweetheart, um, and we love her a lot, and she really just wants to come out and play. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end it here because I know this video is going to be way too long. And I will see you guys in part two, where I will show you um, how I organize my small rabbitry and fit everything into this small space and how my rabbitry works, uh, pretty much. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.